it's raining. Right, let's have a look. See what we have got. Whoa. Look at this. Packets of noodles. Hello, I'm Tommy and welcome to my channel Just Tommy where I normally talk about all types of methods, uh, make money online, online, offline, whatever the case may be, whether you're trying to make additional money to you know, supplement your income or just make extra money on the side, whatever it is, I'm game to try it and see if I can potentially find viable methods for you guys to try to make additional money. As you can see from my intro, um, I have recently been watching um, I've come across this guy who will pop up here, the UK dumpster diver or dumpster diving. Um, really enjoying his content, so keep up the good work, my friend. But with that being said, he has got me thinking, is dumpster diving real? And if so, is it possible to find something for free that you can genuinely flip for money? Do you know what? There's really only one way to find out. Yeah, let's do this. Do you know what? You're probably better not watching this video. It's just gonna be rubbish. Choking me. Take them. Look at all this food. I can't believe this actually happened. I thought the UK guy was mad. He's not. Jesus. I hope my camera picks this up. Cat Easter eggs. I hope 
Oh, cameras picked these up. 2410s of Fanta. Nothing on them. They're in date for next year. Why have they been thrown out? Unbelievable. Who are they? 6th of July. Just out of date. Squashums. Is it bad I want to try them regardless of the date? Hmm. Look at all this food, man. All gone to waste. Good. Like this is all out of date, but I have heard that these manufacturers sort of put a safe date on them like there's a nice rack of ribs huh. I like a rack of ribs they look tasty even if they're out of date do you know what man I'm well under a skimp Yeah. 
just can't donate them because they're out of date. And they'll probably look at me funny. Tenth or seventh. They're actually in date. Let me know in the comments. Would you guys eat this food? Would you throw it away? Would you donate it? If it's in date. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's in a bin, but it's packaged. So the food's good. That's all off. It's all food. Probably shouldn't be in there. See if you're thinking about doing this, honestly, I would, because I think it'll make you look at the, the world a wee bit differently, yeah, appreciate what you have, I'll make you realise how much waste is out there, I'm going to be a bit weird and try them, and if I get sick, so be it, but that's not the
crazy. This whole thing's crazy. Plants and stuff. No. Hello. So, um, just while I'm out doing this, I thought I actually would try to do something a bit different than what I've seen on YouTube so far, and actually show you guys what I look like. Um, with regards to the setup, I'm about to go do some dumpster diving now as we speak. So, just before I start, I thought I'd show you actually what my setup is or my, uh, you know, again, nobody really sort of. You, you can sort of pick it up, sort of read between the lines and get an idea of what you sort of should have. But for anybody who's either just curious, or if you're thinking about doing this yourself and thought, like, Tommy, what do I need to maybe get started? Um, or what do you suggest? Well, one thing is slightly different. I have, um, now I have a belt on um, with my body cam. Uh, I don't have the right setup yet, so I have a body cam that's um, a cheapy off Amazon. I have a better setup and a better rig on its way to, to produce better content or, and bring better quality videos to you guys so that's on its way but this will do for now uh, I have a head torch which I actually picked up in a car boot with several settings which I don't need I just need the one but again that comes in useful then it keeps your hands free if you're looking into different bins and dumpsters then keeps your hands free and then you can grab uh, things that are probably maybe a bit harder to reach or then open things and sort of explore a wee bit better without them potentially dropping up a, a torch in the bin or whatever uh, I know some of the guys have like magnetic uh, torches for the sides of the bins and stuff, but again, it's not always metal bins you come across. There's a lot of big plastic dumpsters out there, so I just thought this would be handy for uh, keeping my hands free. Um, and then, probably the last thing and the most important thing is actually a pair of gloves. Um, what I say, what I say, most important is because I have got myself a pair of gloves that um, will protect me against sharps. So again, you don't know where you're, what you could potentially come across when you put your hands in these things, whether it be in the bags or just in the bins themselves. You could come across um, broken glass, open tins, or even potentially used needles and stuff and syringes. The last thing I want is uh, any cuts or anything, any wounds or infections. And again, I advise you guys to do the same. So I have a pair of good gloves there. I would strongly advise them. But yeah, just thought to show you guys just for a wee change what I actually look like. Not as glamorous as maybe you thought. Sorry to burst your bubble. But yeah, just important that you, you see that I am actually real. I am actually doing this. And uh, yeah, with all out of the way, I will continue with the rest of the video. grow to do this.
the close horse. What is wrong with that? My God. Yeah, we'll keep that. I'm going to use that. Take that, that's a donation. Somewhere. Somebody use that. Lawn seed. What's wrong with that? Package is bust. Do you know what? I think somebody will still use that. I'm gonna grab that. I think the longer I do this, the more, sorry, the less you become surprised at what gets thrown out. But the more addictive you get to actually finding stuff. And sometimes you look at tra trash, wondering if it's trash, or if it's discontinued stock, or, you know, genuinely sometimes you really do wonder why this stuff's even been thrown out. <laughs> Is it a staff member who's got extra stock to put on the shelf and just can't be bothered? You just never know. But yeah, waste not, want not. If you come across items that either, yeah, I, I think there's always the chance to come across items you can flip. But I think more importantly, I find it's all about giving back in this sort of that's what that's where this has changed for me this whole process i like the idea of giving back and if you find an item you're thinking you're asking yourself could somebody benefit from this 
And if the answer is yes, then take it with you. The one thing I will say, you see when you're floating about town with a torch in your head and a camera and a pair of black gloves? Yeah. Proper sketchy. Like even just walking around talking to myself. <laughs> I um <laughs> I fully expect the police to stop and have a word with me. Um and if they do, I'll be nice and say hello. If this time of night any company would be nice. But yeah, that's something to be mindful of. <laughs> If you're going to try this, um, you do look a bit sketchy, and even though you're not stealing, you sort of feel like you are. Right, so that's me finished up on my first ever attempts, first go at this whole dumpster diving thing. Uh, before I bring you sort of the results of what happened, uh, I sort of wanted to bring a couple of things to your attention. If this is something you're contemplating doing, or if it's something you're now thinking about doing after watching this video, uh, just be aware of a couple of things. Um, to be honest, there's things that I hadn't thought of before I went out, and then as I was out and about, then they came to my mind. The first is legalities, keep yourself right. So. If you go to an area where the dumpsters or the bins are uh, either somewhere you think you shouldn't be normally or they're behind lock and key or the actual dumpsters themselves are locked up or padlocked or closed, then stay clear, avoid them. Um, nine times out of ten, the better stuff is potentially going to be in them items, sadly, but keep yourselves right. The last thing I want to hear is anybody getting arrested or in trouble because they are breaching trespassing laws and stuff. With that being said, it is a massive, massive grey area. I have actually come across police uh, during my uh, outings. Uh, I have spoke to them about what I was doing and got tried to get to seek some guidance on it. To be honest with you, anybody I spoke to was uh, in two minds because technically you're not stealing, so you're not guilty of either theft or burglary where that has been suggested to me too. So it's something I'm going to look into a lot further. Uh, I'm going to seek legal advice, get some guidance, and I'll I'll produce a video on that uh, down the line. So for anybody who's thinking of then doing this, then they can use that as a reference before they get out there. They know exactly where they stand, keep themselves right, safeguard you, and it's something I need to know anyway. So secondly, and that's this is probably the this is probably the most frustrating thing that I've found so far. And again, it's probably a lack of experience in this field and not doing my research, where basically uh, it's to do with timing and also then not knowing what areas to go to. So what I found by looking at some of the, especially this guy, uh, who's doing a lot of dumpster diving in the UK, he seems to know what times to go out when the, the dumpsters are full and also then knows when they've been left out. 
So obviously if they're behind uh, gates and closed doors, they're not accessible. Uh, but when they're left out in the, in the public domain, where anybody could potentially walk across them, then they are free for all to get access to. So you want you want to be timing it so that you get access to dumpsters, and obviously that they're full of goods that haven't been emptied. So again, that's something I'm going to do for my own area. I'm going to look into times that the councils and the other bin services will collect these items, and then that way I can plan my route, plan my journey a wee bit better, and hopefully be a wee bit more fruitful in my search. So that's something you may want to do for your own area. But again, I may produce content on that down the line as well to help you guys, give you a bit of a, a reference or a guide before you go out there and do this for yourself. With all that out of the way, let's get into what I've actually found and let you know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Sadly, not shoes, but shoe boxes. Um, yeah, I know, I do need to get out more, but if you're a reseller and you're selling on the likes of eBay and Vinted, you'll know that come across smaller boxes that are sturdy enough to make sure your items get securely shipped from A to B. Uh, it's invaluable in itself. So I, I realized when I came out and about on this venture, that I came across quite a lot of shoe boxes and, that, and smaller boxes like that. So when I was out there, I grabbed them too because they're useful to me. And if you're a reseller, you'll understand why I was a bit excited about this because they'll be useful to you too. So just mindful, if you're out there doing this, uh, you can end up using it as a sourcing tool as well for boxes. Storage. <laughs> came across this three tier white tower storage unit um, with my buy and sell to be quite honest with you again another item I have absolutely no idea what it's thrown out it's brand new it could be resold very quickly it could be flipped and again it's something that somebody would find useful so it could be donated to a charity shop on this occasion being honest it's an item I'd find very useful myself because of all the items I would stock up to resell so I'm going to keep this one on this occasion but again what a find lawn seed now I have to be careful how I hold this one because I can see obviously why this was thrown out uh, there's a slight dinge in the corner which has put a hole in the box so if this was on display all the seed would pour out so obviously it can't be shelved it can't be displayed and it can't be resold with that being said this thing's full to the brim uh, I'm not a gardener myself, but I know plenty of people who are, uh, and I've already asked around. This is going to go to a family member who is going to try and improve the quality of their grass. But um, again, this item, yes, I can understand why it's been thrown out, but it can be reused. So it's the same as anything else. If somebody else finds, sees value in it, they're going to want it, uh, which is true on this occasion. So pick that up. A disposable barbecue. Now, summer is around the corner. Well, supposedly. Um, again, another item. Why has this been thrown out? I have absolutely no idea. I can only imagine it's got a dent in the corner, but it looks like an item that would be, um, that's obviously gonna work. Straight in the corner out. And it's another item that I have no doubt will work without any issues. Uh, not something I'm gonna use myself, to be honest with you. So, but again, another item I know people will find value in and would somebody would be happy with this. So gonna donate this one again to the local charity shop a clothes horse now if you're like if you're like me not really sure what a clothes horse is or a clothes air um, it's basically for those who don't have any tumble dryers in their premises and it's a way of drying clothes you hang it out in a, an open aired space hang your wet clothes over it and within a couple of hours they're dry yeah yet again I've made full inspection of this item. I have absolutely no idea why it was thrown out. The only reason maybe why is because the, the, the packaging was bust. So that's potentially why that retailer hasn't has decided not to sell it. But again, to throw it out when somebody else will find value and use in this is crazy because it is usable. So not something I need myself or anybody I know uh, an immediate family needs, but um, to be honest, I know somebody out there will get a lot of use out of this. So this one is an item. It's going to go to the local charity. Cards. I came across a dumpster with three or four like bin liners filled with these cards, right? Opened one. In hindsight, I wish I lifted the whole thing, but obviously with me being new and sort of trying to get used to the sell taking items without paying for them, which sounds weird, but I'm sure you understand what I mean if you were to try this yourself. Um, I left it one bag uh, after it sort of opened up and seen what was inside. But look, these cards are brand new with their envelopes. 
their retail value, their price at a pound each. I have a couple of hundred of these cards. I could have got a lot more. Um, honestly, uh, they're that good that I'm gonna keep a few for myself just in case I get caught short because the last thing you wanna do is forget uh, a loved one's birthday and get your ear warmed. But um, apart from that, these could be used by anyone. So I'm gonna donate these again to the local charity and I'm sure somebody out there will be very, very grateful for them. Socks. Now these ones are, again, both pairs are, of two pairs of socks here that I came across, uh, both in brand new condition. Uh, these ones, Kids Adidas socks, what are they, six, seven quid for the pair, maybe more. Uh, no label on them, uh, so I would imagine they've been damaged uh, in the shop in some way and have just been binned, which is crazy. Um, I'll give them a quick wash because they're not with the tags on them and obviously they've come out of a dump, um, but then I'll just donate them. Well, some child out there playing a bit of football who will make full use of them. And then the other pair I got brand new with the label on just happened to be my size, I uh, quite like them, uh, I do a bit of mountain walking and stuff on the side, they're that type of sock, um, look like they'll take a bit of use, so I'll treat myself to them. And last up, which is ironic because it was actually my first ever find, which made me realise that this was real and not something that was just created for YouTube purposes, uh, Tens of Fanta, probably my favourite, most favourite find because again, I just questioned, I questioned it again and again why these items were thrown out. There's three eight packs of Tens of Fanta. Um, they're well within their best before date. Their best before date is actually uh, the middle of next year. Uh, and again, no damage, no dents, no signs of any leakage or spillage. These are more than capable to be resold in my opinion. So why they've been thrown out, Laura already knows. But ironically, I'm not actually a big fizzy drink fan myself, but I know plenty of people who are. Uh, I don't think this qualifies as an item that can be sort of sent to a food bank. Uh, plus, I know a few people in the family circles who have already uh, sort of claimed ownership of these ones. So these are going to go to somebody I know. Yeah, it's going to put a smile on somebody's face and then I'll let them know afterwards once I've consumed them where I actually found them. Money joking. So that's me wrapped up for my first ever experiences on dumpster diving and my first dumpster diving haul. Uh, was it a success? Well, jury's out. Because as you guys know, who are following my channel, and hint, hint, if you're not, don't forget to hit that whole subscribe button thing. But for those who follow my channel, my channel is predominantly around the make money niche, whether it be online, offline, just different ideas and methods of making money. And that's how this started out. Uh, the whole idea was, could I find things in dumpsters that I could then flip or resell for a profit? Now, that hasn't worked out. But I have found things, and to be honest with you, more than anything else, more than I realised I would, I've actually thoroughly enjoyed the search, the hunt, and the experience. So, with that being said, in my personal opinion, this has been a success, and it's definitely something I'm going to do further down the line, and produce more content on down the line. And yeah, if it's something you're going to attempt now to try yourself, let me know, or if you have something you do already, let me know how you get on. With all that being said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, until the next one, take care of yourselves. And bye for now.